Baki Hanma is the main character in Baki the Grappler series. He's also the hero of the story, and we need to emphasize this side of him because he has flaws that we will get into as we discuss further. We'll kick off by saying that when Baki turned 13, he decided to train harder, just like his father. And why, you might ask? It turns out his goal was to beat his father in a fight. So there you go. The hero of the story has daddy issues that he eventually overcomes through a determined self-will. It's also impressive that at 15, Baki had his first fight in an arena with no rules and became the champion there. For reference, his father is Yujiro Hanma, and his mother is Emi Akazawa, and he has a half-brother named Jack Hanma. In the beginning, Baki is raised by his wealthy mother, Emi Akazawa, who supports his training, hoping he can become a powerful warrior like his father, Yujiro Hanma. As the series begins, Baki outgrows regular training and sets out to follow his father's intense training path. Along the way, he meets many strong fighters. He eventually faces his father in a fight, but is easily defeated. Baki's mother tries to save him, but tragically gets killed by his father, leading Baki to hate him even more. After the defeat, Baki travels the world to continue his training. He discovers an underground fighting arena where he faces powerful fighters from different martial arts styles. This is where he truly hones his skills. His main goal is to become stronger than his father. As such, he faces many challenges on this quest. Eventually, Baki becomes an incredibly strong fighter through self-training, with his ultimate motivation being to surpass his father, who happens to be the world's best. As the story progresses, Baki works hard and earns a spot in a tournament featuring the top five strongest fighters in the world. And this desire to overcome his father drives him to become the strongest of them all. Eventually, he is crowned the champion of the underground arena in Tokyo Dome, just as many people refer to him as the world's strongest boy. We'll now go into more detail by saying Baki is supposed to be a teenage boy who is carefree and laid back most of the time, but he takes his training very seriously. At the same time, his father Yujiro Hanma is regarded as the strongest man in the world, and Baki strives to become strong enough to defeat him after what he did. Baki trains day and night to improve his skills as quickly as possible. He often gets into fights with various people, intentionally or sometimes by bad luck. He believes that the best way to get stronger is to fight against people who are stronger than him, as it runs in the Hanma family. However, he soon realizes that his fighting style is different from his father's. While Baki believes in building strong relationships with his opponents like respect and fair play, his father on the other hand believes in crushing them brutally for the sake of flexing his power, and this difference between them sometimes angers Yujiro. Baki also deeply loves and respects those close to him, especially his girlfriend, Kozue Matsumoto. He becomes aggressive if she's in danger and will do whatever it takes to protect her. However, their relationship faces complications when another person tries to win Kozue's affection. So essentially Baki is neither a fighter nor lover, but a hybrid of both, and it takes a lot of maturity to pull that balance off. Baki is also incredibly intelligent when it comes to martial arts. He is very resourceful and uses various combat styles during fights. He's even capable of creating new techniques through mental visualization. And all of this proves that he is in sync with his inner key. However, Baki's focus on training and fighting means he often neglects his formal education. To put things in context, fighting wasn't always meditative for him and in the past, Baki was more aggressive and eager to fight to prove himself. But as he matured, he returned to his laid-back self while still aiming to surpass his father. Deep down, he didn't necessarily want to be the strongest man alive, only just a little stronger than his father. And at some point in his adolescence, Yujiro, his father, acknowledges him as the strongest boy. As a result, Baki starts to feel detached and bored, and so to reconnect with the world, he accepts challenges from other strong fighters, and this attitude is as human as it gets, all things considered. Nonetheless, outside of training and fighting as well as the impulse of shenanigans, Baki is polite and well-mannered, likely due to his upbringing in a wealthy family. However, he sort of has a penchant for provoking opponents to make them fight seriously, as he believes true fighters don't need rules or excuses to battle. So, Baki is quite prone to pick a fight. But back to Baki's relationship with his father, which by all accounts is complicated and sad. He usually talks about his father with reluctance and anger. However, despite their deep rivalry and enmity, Baki and Yujiro can work together as a team when necessary. One instance was during the Great Chinese Tournament. And even though they never say it directly, they feel a strange connection as family. Sometimes Baki even calls his father by his name, like the time when Baki invited Yujiro to dinner or when they pretend to share an imaginary meal during their battle. You could say their emotions for each other are strong, but also contrary. And this complex relationship becomes even more evident during their final fight in the third manga series installment. 
Although Baki wants to defeat his father, he deeply respects Yujiro's strength and openly acknowledges him as the most powerful fighter in the world. And viewers might observe that even though Baki sees Yujiro as an enemy, he also admires him to some extent. During a fight with his brother Jack Hanma, Baki briefly shows a demon-like face on his back, and what could that mean? Whatever the case, Baki, unlike his father, chooses not to let the killing intent control him, and he prefers to fight fairly and honorably, regardless of the outcome. Baki's unique training methods have also earned him some admiration from many fighters in the underground arena. He practices shadow boxing while visualizing fights with upcoming opponents, and this helps him learn their techniques and weaknesses before facing them in real battles. All in all, this gives him a significant advantage over his adversaries, and you can tell he is really serious about this fighting thing, no thanks to his father. Baki's stats are as follows. So he is around 5 foot 6 inches tall, amongst other impressive points of information. As he gets older in the series, his appearance changes a lot. At the start of Grappler Baki when he's 17 years old, he looks somewhat childlike, with short hair in the front and longer hair at the back. He has many scars on his body from the intense and strict training he puts himself through, except on his face. Baki also has a mole above his upper lip on the side, which he shares with his mother, Emi Akazawa. However, when there's a flashback in the story to when Baki was 13, his appearance changes slightly. His hair becomes shorter and spiky, and it turns orange, probably because he wanted to be more like his father who he worshipped and looked up to at that time. In the second manga series, when Baki is 17, his appearance goes back to how he looked at the beginning of Grappler Baki, but he looks more mature and tired. His hair becomes longer and goes past his ears. When he's 18 in the third manga series, his appearance is similar to how he looked in New Grappler Baki. The only differences are that his hair is curlier now, and he's now fully grown to his fighting height of 5 foot 6 inches tall, which was mentioned earlier. So if you were looking for any first impressions about Baki, look no further. It's just like when they say, the first impression matters most. To top things off, Baki has been doing intense physical training since he was a child, so he has a very muscular, flexible, and tough body. His training is so rigorous that his physique is way beyond what a regular teenager would have, and his bones and muscles are said to be even better than those of an Olympic athlete. Just to be sure, we won't blame anyone for being put off by this thuggish look. Since he was little, Baki has been training hard to become stronger than his father, Yujiro, and earn his love. On her part, Baki's mother, Emi Akazawa, made sure he had the best training equipment. She provided him with top martial arts teachers, personal gym trainers, and the best sports gear money could buy. An employee of his mother, Hitoshi Kuriyagawa, also arranged fights for Baki. It wasn't long before Baki beat up all the thugs in his town and gained a reputation as the toughest guy around. Other thugs were jealous and vandalized his house because they couldn't hurt him physically. So essentially, Baki could be regarded as a bully's bully, in a manner of speaking. You could also quote us when we mentioned how morally balanced Baki seems to be in terms of his fighting key. Also during his fights, Baki uses a variety of hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques that he learned and improved over time. He blends movements from different fighting styles like karate, pro wrestling, judo, kempo, and jujitsu. Even though he can't master one complete combat style instantly like his father, he learns them faster than most, and combined with his imagination, this ability makes him almost equal to Yujiro. But really, after trying so hard to surpass his father, did he succeed? By the end of the series, Baki becomes incredibly powerful. He can easily destroy a punching machine pad with a casual punch. At this point, he's possibly the second strongest character in the series. However, he still falls behind his father, but only until his demon back activates. So, we get it now, that's what that was for. And with this newfound power, Baki can actually hurt Yujiro, something no one else could do before. During their fight, Yujiro admits that Baki is now his equal, as Baki pushed him to use more effort than he has ever done, and Yujiro now admits he can no longer be called the only strongest creature alive.